hello beautiful people how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing good man the sun is is giving the sun is giving I I'm at work clearly I just touched it down right now I said let me show you guys my fine face plus this sun <laughs> is making the skin glow <laughs> hello Emma <laughs> how are you <laughs> It's making the skin glow. Glow, glow, baby. Glory of God. Alright, you guys. I don't show my fine face. Okay. Let's go make audience to king. Okay. Right? Beautiful people. How are you guys doing? It's going home time. And yeah, the day went so quickly. Like quickly, quickly, quickly. That's why I like this my department. Eh? The moment you get in, walk like no sleeping on bike. Like you won't really, you won't feel tired because you are busy. You know, say one of my fears when I started. I mean, before I started, before I even moved here, was boredom. Boredom, <laughs> you know. There are sometimes this go just day bored and you feel like sleeping on duty and if they catch you shaking your head like this castle don't bust <laughs> so I was that was my fear to be honest and for the fact that I'm moving from night shift to day shift which I've not done in almost how long almost two years but I thank God my department is sharp sharp when you walk in you freaking get busy until like today I don't even know I don't even know say time don't knock to go home. I was just about to go to my last break and I thought it was three. Before I know it, the person I was working with was like, I know going for last break. I said it's still three. Check time. Bam. Past six. I say what? Okay now few. What is this? <laughs> See this is my department, there's no bottom because you will walk, you go walk tired. And that's what I like. Because you are walking, like you, you are very busy. The moment from morning till you start to go home, you are freaking busy. I like it. And the fact that you are learning new things. Like you are learning new things. That's even what makes me happier. By the way, you guys, I said let me come and show my tired face. Okay. Mm. Let's go, let's go. Beautiful people, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. So, let's go. I'm going to make my hair. I'm going to make my hair. What is this light tonight? So, we're going to make my hair. We're following the backyard. We are going via the backyard. That's for Rose House. <laughs> As for us out there. My camera is clear or no? So there's a main road where you just, you know, I want to get you naked and I'm This is past seven. The ray of the sun. The benefit of yeah. summer. What is it? Never mind. All right, I think I need to use knife and. So this is cool. Let me enter so that you guys understand. Bumblebee. Are you guys ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Come on. Come on, enter. <laughs> so there's a track road. That's Furo's compound there. Come on, guys. Nothing beat you, my friend. <laughs> so this is a hiking um, this thing. road. We are here. <laughs> as a glimpse. <laughs> We're getting in. So we don't enter. Yep. I will see you guys. Like well, I said, the neighbor they caught this thing. Hello, you guys. I'm gonna do my cornrow, don't they? It's half day. Eh? That my hair. Oh, yeah, press the button. Dun, dun. Oh, thank you. Yep. Why? Enter. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Oh, she's baiting. Okay, let's stay here. Where are you guys going? Yeah. No. I'm not going anywhere. I want your mommy to make my fine hair. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
20 pounds. <laughs> 20 pounds for this one. <laughs> Go is paying me. Who should pay me for on behalf of us? Don't worry, I go bring customers come. <laughs> I have <our> customers. <laughs> we never get time to do it. I'm not making a mistake. Oh, hello. Yeah, guys, we are making a uh, corn roll. <laughs> I used to go strong man so I can be collecting 20 pounds for you people. <laughs> this is one thing I don't know how to do for you. May I land this thing here? Are you serious? Since in Nigeria, I'm not sure how to learn Conroe. So I just gave up. When I reach here, but I tell they tell me 50 pounds. Tell me what you're going to make in the room for us to eat for this dinner. But then they tell me 50 pounds, 50 pounds. I can't calculate that, but they pay 50 pounds, three people. Yeah, yeah. Don't try this one. They okay. This one I go marry this one at two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, not bad at all. You guys put off to my full hair finish. You guys should come and petrolize food, okay? Okay. I want one. I see, I've done a good job. Very clean cornrow. Malala, thank you. I really appreciate it. This one under my two weeks here. Mm. Mm. Hello, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. I just came back from work and I'm still wearing my fleece, my uniforms. So I just came back and yeah, I'm just seeing my package. Yeah. So this package is from Pelonis. Ah, I'm so happy. Oh more. See face now, nah, eh? After that, I was shift. Huh? See my face. Still popping. Hmm? Huh? And you say God is not too much. First, <laughs> you wake up on her since 7 o'clock in the morning and you are coming back by 8. How many hours is that? And my face is still glowing. Ha <laughs> ha, naked. The Lord is gold in my business. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm happy. I was so looking forward to the shift to end. You know why? Because I've got four days off. So I'll be off for four days. And I'm so looking back the way. Today is Saturday. And yes, my mom is coming on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to these four days. Jesus Christ. It'd be me like say, are they on annual leave? <laughs> Especially because I think most of the part is because my mom is coming anyway. Yeah. So let me guys show you my fine face. My tired, glowing fine face. After how many hours shift? Hmm? After how many hours? 12.5 hours. So, um, practically, I'm going to tidy up my mom's room. Yeah. Because that place. <laughs> we don't use that room, pack clothes. All the clothes we don't wash. We never fold. I die with the pack I think tomorrow is Sunday. Hey, we it was Sunday. Chiju, okay. So tomorrow is Sunday. I will use tomorrow tidy up the place. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next clip. Mm -hmm. Hello, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. So we are ready to go. And yeah, <laughs> the girl is looking good. It's been ages since I laid front so anyway. This is what this frontal is giving, and um, this is the outfit of the day. All right, I'll probably put this picture if I can. All right, yeah, my trainers, Yay hair from my friend Tommy, bag. I don't know, I bought this bag in Okreka. My top from I think HM, my top from HM, and my jean from Oyemi Market, but I got okay, okay. All right, before we put the boys are ready to go to school, not to go to school. I'm taking them to Furo, so um, Furo's hobby will just help me take them to school. And yeah, these are the boys. And, and both. Okay, let us go! So beautiful people, this was when the whole excitement vanished. My mom missed her flight. Meanwhile, she has already called me that she has landed and this is me in Manchester Airport waiting for her. They announced her name in platform 1, 2 and 3. And my mom was nowhere to be found. But anyway, let's continue the vlog. Hello, beautiful people. 
Adia waraga nya uni gamaga kani. Hello beautiful people. How are you guys doing? I'm laughing now. <laughs> you guys, you all needed to see me yesterday. Yesterday was the craziest day of my life. So for this my life. Yesterday was mad. So my mom is here and hmm, a lot of things happen. It's a very long story. Let me get my this thing here. It's a very long, long story. So what happened was she missed her flight unintentionally missed her flight and yeah i think this is better yeah so she unintentionally missed her flight and she was supposed to get here 7 45 and mm -hmm, around eight past eight i called her i was still at the train station i called her you don't reach she said eh, they don't reach so all my mind is she don't reach manchester but no these people landed in Heathrow, I think 6.45, I think before 6 or so, 6, 6.45. So she's supposed to join her connecting flight to Manchester, Heathrow, that's Madala Mohammed, Heathrow, Manchester. So they got to Manchester, she came down, where she was going, I don't know. And we booked assistance for her, we booked assistance, but for some reason, she didn't know that we booked assistance or she forgot i told her that we booked assistance so by the time they landed in Heathrow, she just entered immigration from immigration she called me said she did not reach i was like okay now i don't reach i started calling and calling her after all said and like yesterday was mad yesterday i waited for her she didn't come out i spoke to security if i tell mm, it was crazy i went to british airways oh yeah my mom is supposed to be on this flight. She's not here. They said because of confidentiality, they cannot give me. Information. I was like, how? She's my mom. Now we booked this flight. She's coming to our house. How? Which one is confidentiality again? That see all these British Airways here. They crazy. Anyway, that's not even the issue. The issue was, as at the time, I was waiting for her in Manchester. At some point, her number wasn't going through. I was waiting for her in Manchester. This woman was not in Manchester. She was still in Heathrow. So apparently, she missed her collecting flight to. Manchester. So the assistant, we are waiting for her. She didn't know or she forgot, like she said. Then she just went there because normally when the aircraft landed, those in assistance just there now, assistants go carry you for wheelchair. They wait, I mean, assistant people, they go just be there, they wait for you with the wheelchair. So she came down on the aircraft and walked past. We'll be seeing assistants supposed to carry her, go immigration, then hook her up with the connecting flight. So at the end of the day, <sighs> In fact, it was a long, long, long story. I was devastated. I was angry. I was mad. I was, ah, it was crazy. Really, really crazy. Anyway, when it not done on me that this woman wasn't here, so I now spoke to um, customer service people. They now went to British Airways. It was because of, because they said they, wouldn't, they cannot give me information because confidentiality. So it was customer service in Manchester that now went to, BA people to go ask them, okay, I beg, see this one, see this one. They didn't even explicitly say, they just looked and said, eh, she knows this flight and she's not in the one coming by 11.35 and she is not yet booked on the one coming. So that was when I knew that she's not in Manchester. So I had to, <sighs> it was crazy. So my mom was in Heathrow because she missed her flight. She was in Heathrow from 6.45 a.m. until 6 p.m. when I got to he threw and I met with her. Her number wasn't going through. It was crazy. Like it was mad. Really, really mad. It was the worst of my life, to be honest. In fact, I wouldn't even like tomorrow, yesterday, to happen again in my life. Because, oh, you know, when you have your plans, you just go pick her from the airport and bam, you come back, do your school run. Ah, he is easy for you guys. Anybody will say for a moon at the time for me. It was full rose. Ah, ah, ah. Thank God. Full rose. Thank you. You know, I'm very grateful. Very, very grateful. It was full rose husband that helped, you know, do the school run. And one of my subscribers as well, Elizabeth. You guys remember one of my subscribers that I said I met in my new place of work? We met at induction. She was, in fact, she was God sent. Furo, Elizabeth, the Uber driver. These are the people that made my day yesterday. 
even though it was a horrible day but somehow somehow i'm grateful to these people the uber driver that man god go bless that man they can't go away go bless that man hey chineke just a random you know when you just randomly book a ride because i wanted to fly from when it i was sure that my mom wasn't in manchester airport because I, so i wanted to fly from manchester but i didn't have any id card i had to come back pick up my passport to go back to airport to fly when i got back to the airport guys one leg single trip from manchester airport to Heathrow at the time was almost 800 pounds i was like what how how one hour trip anyway immediately ah, that bad driver god go bless that man god go bless because when he was bringing me back to the house for me to pick up my passport he was he was seeing my countenance i was so upset i was in this area he was like madam because now these are arabic muslim people madam are you okay are you okay sir? yes i'm not i'm not fine i'm not fine my brother i'm not fine but i'll be fine he was like talk, talk to me you know if they cry self tears no green at all because my mommy's number was not going through i don't even know how we pick up the kids from school and everything was just ah, plus on top of that she lost her baggage all three of them so it was crazy it was really mad so the uber driver even volunteered to go somebody you don't know he volunteered to go and pick up the children from school don't worry madam don't worry i will help you pick up the children yeah no you don't know me but i can give you say in go give me my in driver's license so that i go use in driver's like ah that man hmm. anyway story long story long well, well, well. so by the time i you know check the flights and everything so because as me and the uber the guy we were just just in and he knew my situation so he was like okay i can give you my number if you can meet up with your with your kids and their school and blah 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 call me i will go help pick them up then carry them go to their house and she needs to get two to children so you know see i'm a random person but he don't mind because looking at me right now i'm in a very bad situation <laughs> So at the end of the day, we exchanged contact. So when I go to the airport, he as he dropped me at the airport because he picked me from train station, Bolton train station, to the house. I picked my passport. Then he dropped me at uh, Manchester Airport back. He dropped me at Manchester Airport. You guys know that this guy did not charge me from my house here to Manchester Airport. He said, "Well, oh, just go, just go, just go, just go." Oh, sorry. Anyway, so when the flight was. When I checked the flight, the flight was 817 pounds for one leg. I'm mad. I won't as in my mind blew up. So I had to call him back. See you. Can you drive me to a uh, man uh, Heathrow? Can you drive me to Heathrow? He said this is about four hours. I mean it's not worth it. This one, this one. I got to tell I say flight in an go area. It's okay. This man now said, okay, he charge me less. He charged me less than half of that flight money. We drove four hours. That was how we enter road. We drove. Pa, 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 I need four call. I need four call. By the time I got to the airport, my mom was already tired. I didn't even look at her because I was boiling. I told you, you have assistance. And you just left with that assistance. You just go. You don't know anywhere. So how? In fact, I still like, when I saw her, I was like, just carry a while at the go. <laughs> Anyway, the longest thought of it all is I met with her at the airport and we went to British Airways luggage claim. So I was like, let me go my room check whether the luggage day here or in Manchester. Because her flight from Lagos was to Manchester. You get it? So I say, thank God I even tried to ask. So when I now went to baggage claim, I asked them to check their system and her baggage was here. I was like, thank God. So because BA people, they didn't want to refund that flight money from where the flight that she made because they wanted to put her in the next available flight but because they didn't want to put a uh, refund they wanted to put her in the next available flight i was like no now that i've seen her i'm not gonna miss her again so that she because with flights he drove to manchester airport is one hour but if you're driving is four hours so apparently i came with uber right so if she is going to fly that flight that means she will still go to the manchester airport and wait for me i was like no 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 what will happen is just give me her bag. I'm taking her with the Uber driver. She, I'm not, I don't want her to fly again. So they called the manager. In fact, at the end of the day, they didn't want to refund the money. I said, no problem. Carry the money to go. Just give me her bag. It took one hour. We told the signing, calling this person, calling this person. They brought her bag and we came home. We got home by 12 midnight. 11.59 p.m. That was when we got home. And 
too long. God will bless you and your husband. Eh? God will bless you now. All of you now, way they involved in my life yesterday. That made my day. God will bless you now. Anyway, before people, that's my mommy's story. I was even today, it just shattered me because the excitement, you know, it, God, it's mad. But we thank God. We thank God she's here and those are the things she brought. Let me turn my camera. Those are the things she bought and those are her clothes there. Garrido enter her clothes, finish. See the bag, one of the bag, Garrido, everything just go inside. Eh? She got these two pieces for me and I ordered some wig as well. Hold on, you guys should hold on. Hold on. You guys should hold on. Let me show you guys the things she bought. Okay. So, this is the two pieces she got for me. I will try it out. By the time I will do this video, I will um, wear it and show you guys. She did want to try She brought a butter. <laughs> I had a butter in this. She just brought extra. I didn't bring me much food stuff because I have food stuff. The only thing I'm lacking mostly is Gary beans and indomie. The last indomie I put out there, that's the last carton. So yeah, then I don't know if you guys can see what to do. So my other sister got me <laughs> hems, hems, hems. I'm so <laughs> so yeah. So nice. Oh, she got me this one. <laughs> that my auntie, eh? On a mehe she did. Anyway, so she got me the brown color. Yeah. And we've got granules. Now to go find bottle. So not the granules. And these are my things. These ones are the ones. My friend Sam. He asked to get this for him. And he's, he's got stock fish as well. I think he also said maybe help and buy some fish. <laughs> and this is just um, maggie. Chicken spice and what's maggie? This one is just, you know, purple. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I don't buy food stuff in the UK. This is why I came to this UK. We've been living here for how long now? I've never bought Gary, Uboroko, this one, spice is maggie. All my food stuff come from Nigeria. The only thing I go to African store to buy is primarily Oha, Oha leaves, which my mom brought. So she brought Oha, she brought Zaza, she brought Okazia. So those are the things. But when it comes to proper food, if I never catch me in Africa, store buying all this stuff. So I've got my, ow, ow. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep. So these are my diary. But they're not big, it's just four, four of them because of weight. So we've got one, two, three, four. I think this is just two. I've got beans as well. I've got beans. These ones are just top up. Okay. Yeah. And I've got curry fish. Curry fish, my fish don't finish. The curry fish we are still eating with the curry fish we came back from Nigeria with sometime around last year when we traveled from. That one said the remain high. But now I've got this one. So these two will be last me this next year. So. And there are my indomie. A carton of indomie. Stockfish. My friend asked me to buy stockfish. And this one is stockfish head. You know the one they use salt of course. And this is the head. Practically those are the stuff in there. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, hubby got me some perfumes. This is another thing I don't usually buy in the UK perfumes. Not as much as, you know, the prices are not bad, but I still like my perfumes from home. I've only bought perfume here just about twice since I came here. But most times when my husband goes or somebody is coming, he always buys and sends to me. So, yeah, I've got this brown leather. I've Use black leather. Black leather is superb. They smell like go smell tight. So this is brown leather. And this one, this one is exposed. And this one, this one follows another one function. So yeah, these are the things. I didn't bring much food stuff, like I said. Yeah, I didn't bring much food stuff. So because I've got food stuff, like I've got loads, 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 loads. So it's just uh, efficient, you know, few. So let me talk about this week. 
this is not a sponsored video this section is not sponsored okay so this wig look at it so this is color four this is normal human hair hold on it's closure because the girl is going for closure wigs these days okay 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 so it's just normal human hair there's nothing special and this one <laughs> let me go back to nagosia nagosia you get you know see the length good the price of this week will show you now it's closure as well hold on so look 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 it came pre-blocked so i'm gonna go see her <laughs> now somebody guess how much i got this week guess guess by the way this week is from hold on where is the account again? <laughs> yes, this wig is from the OG Hair on Instagram. So this lady, I've been seeing her market her business with reckless abandon. Like, like she carried her business for hair. That's why I started watching her. I got interested in her. Though before now, me and I don't talk for Instagram long, long time ago. So the week came with this week up. Um, a thank you card and she put this one I don't know why she because she asked me for this I said don't put it and she still went ahead to put it thank you Nene. thank you so so much anyway let me talk a little bit about her business like I said this is so close so this lady she sells she sells um, human hair she sells raw hairs and all but I think most of her sales is um, all these cheap hairs um, which the column Japanese waiting waiting. What do they call them now? Japanese guinea guinea guinea. Yeah. You guys, I will wear this week. I'll wear this week and show you all by the time I wear it. So that you guys can tell me how much this week costs. If you follow me on Instagram, that's where you see the actual review. Okay. The actual review of this week. Okay? Yeah. Tell me how much do you think this week costs? So that is what's up in this vlog. Mom's is still sleeping. The boys has gone to school and yeah it's just for me to arrange and rearrange all right beautiful people thank you for joining me in this vlog i will see you guys later in my next one okay did you enjoy this vlog if you did please give this video a huge thumbs up thank you and see you in my next one ciao